Hey everyone, it's Byron. I'm here to testify for Jesus Christ. I wanted to cover an idea that my son and I talked about this morning on a phone call. And the idea was that your boldness is related to your belief. And we were discussing the spies. The, the 12 spies went into the promised land, of which two of them were, were Joshua and Caleb. And Joshua and Caleb came back from that spy mission and told the children of Israel, we can take this land, even though there were giants in the land. But the other 10 spies came back and said, no, no, we look like little grasshoppers to these guys, and they're going to just beat us up. So we can't go and take the land. And the children of Israel balked or paused or didn't believe God, and they didn't go into the promised land at the time. Each person that was 20 years of age and older perished in the wilderness during the 40 years they spent in the wilderness because of their unbelief that God would be with them and deliver the people into their hands. So as we were talking this morning, we were talking about boldness. My son has been praying for boldness and, and I as well. Um, and I had recently had three dreams about Freemasons. This is unrelated to the videos I've produced in the past of Freemasons or about Freemasons. That's three additional dreams, but they were of the, you know, the same people that I've mentioned in the other videos. They're in this one. They were in these dreams, one of which was a giant. And he was about five, I would say a giant, but he was about five inches taller than in real life and much more strong than in real life. And I withstood him. I was, you know, shoulder to shoulder basically or shoulder my shoulder was in the middle of his chest his shoulder was in the middle of my chest and i knew dude you push me i'm going to push back you know boldness <laughs> that's what i'm getting at so i thought it might be good I'm, I'm i'm doing this now as well but i thought it might be good just to share that um we can measure our belief scale in how god will do for us by our boldness I, I know that's, it may seem aggressive, kind of, you know, like, whoa, wait a minute, what are you saying? But anytime you're you're dealing with um, measuring performance, you have to have some measurement, some way to measure, hey, is this working? And I thought that, that belief brings boldness. And the, the apostles prayed for boldness in the book of Acts. But there is a relationship between our belief or faith and boldness. And you, if you just take David, his uh, when he defeated Goliath, he was you know a little kid, but he he was bold or had faith or belief that God would be with him fighting Goliath when all the rest of the children of Israel didn't. So just something I wanted to share. I'm I'm going to apply it to my life. I mean, every time that I shrink back from something, I'm going to realize, dude, it's a measurement of your boldness or it's a measurement of your belief in God. And that, that, that would be helpful for you. We can apply it to various different things. I, I, I have my mission in life. You have your mission in life. But we both can apply that same principle to that. So I wanted to share that and, you know, just get it out there in case it might be helpful for some people. It's very helpful for me. And uh, hopefully it'll be helpful for others. So thank you.